right. Hey, everyone. I'm Munib, founder of Stacks. Uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, there are two main things I'm going to talk about. First is just to give you a, an overview and update on the exciting things that have been happening on the Bitcoin L2 space. And then we have a little alpha to drop for all the Solana developers who are sitting here in the audience. Uh, so Stacks, the project, we basically focus on unlocking Bitcoin capital. I think it's a no-brainer that there's more than a trillion dollars of Bitcoin capital sitting there. Developers are not programming it. They're not deploying it. In, in big ways into DeFi, and that's, that's what our, our project sort of focuses on. Uh, to give you a comparison on Ethereum, Ethereum is roughly like, you know, one third or less the size, but the capital is actually pretty fluid, liquid, and is productive. People can deploy it in a lot of contracts in a lot of different ways, they can earn yields, whereas that's not happening with Bitcoin right now. And we think that's a massive, massive opportunity, and, and not a lot of developers are actually working on it right now. So what's the, what's the bottleneck? And I think if you might have heard a lot of skepticism for Bitcoin L2s, that they're not trustless, like they aren't really L2s, and that's one thing that I want to quickly talk about, that there have been recently some amazing technical breakthroughs that massively reduce the trust factor of Bitcoin L2s. There's one project called BitVM that takes you from a M of N security model on the bridge to one of N, meaning you only need one honest party uh, and, and your Bitcoin can actually move freely between the L1 and the L2. And that, that honest party could be you yourself. There's a bunch of other exciting stuff happening. People are working on roll-ups. They're working on other types of consensus mechanisms. Stacks itself is going through a massive upgrade where you have fast blocks, but I'll, I'll spare you those, those uh, details. If you're a developer and you're excited about working with Bitcoin capital, I think that is something that is a growing area and our project is sort of like focused on, on bringing that to market. So what's, what's, the, what's the missing thing? I think what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of BTC capital sits in the hands where these people are decentralization freaks. They don't want to go through routes where they either have to do KYC, they don't want to actually pay, uh, get like 1099s, they don't want to pay taxes on their capital. So a lot of the existing solutions, like for example through Bitco or WBDC, actually doesn't meet those requirements. People are looking for decentralized bridges where they can actually go wrap, unwrap, don't have to pay any wrapping fees, and don't have to trust any single company. That's the work that Stacks has been doing with the design of SBDC. And the little sort of like alpha that we want to drop here is that the Stacks developers are currently working on bringing SBDC to Solana. Why Solana? Because the next step, so the first step is, think of that as the rails, right? So the mental model is Bitcoin, the asset, is, is different from Bitcoin, the rails. Yes, we agree that Bitcoin L1, the rails suck. You can't program anything there. It's slow as hell. But Bitcoin, the asset, is amazing. So you can change the rails. You can bring Bitcoin, the asset, to different rails. You can bring it to faster places where you can program it in SVM, other, other things that you, that you want to do. And, 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 and with this, Basically, with, with, uh, with, with our, our developer community, we are also trying to move into Rust. That's another thing that the developers here are going to appreciate. So the, if the bridge design and the apps that are natively running close to Bitcoin, they're running in similar languages as what you might be used to on Solana, there could be a lot of cross-pollination of interesting things happening there. That is something that I'm super excited about came here to give you a brief overview of the landscape in Bitcoin L2s, why a decentralized, open, permissionless Bitcoin asset is important, and how we are working on bringing it to Solana. Thank you so much.